this video i'm going to show you how to edit your microsoft word microsoft excel and microsoft powerpoint document in canva like we all know canva is a graphic design website that you can do everything online including creating different kind of posters templates um, graphics designs in for your social media posting for your youtube channel you can create all sort of graphics with this very simple um, website so all you need to do to start is to come to your browser search for google and you can just search for canva if you're very new to canva you see it here the first website you can just click login you can sign up and login it's completely free to sign up and login you can do that with any of your gmail account or the about now once you sign up and login this is the main home tab the home page that is going to bring you so all you need to do is to identify the documents that you want to upload and you can just go ahead and upload them and you can go ahead and edit them within the canva platform so the first one is um, let's say we have identified the documents and they're in my desktop let's say we have them here and the first one is um, microsoft word document so i have this report that i have made for the vice chancellor some times ago and i can just easily all you need to do to uh, upload and edit your document from the home page is drag and drop it anywhere within the document and it's going to import that document and it's going to convert it and you can go ahead and, um, and carry out your editings so you can see now it's importing the file you can see the progress and once it is done importing you can see now don't worry about not showing the thumbnail you can just click on it and it's going to open in the word format that you have all right so this is it it has opened exactly as it is in the microsoft word okay this is the dot word document and this is how it is and this is just a report about a project that i've carried out recently so you see now you have the option to do anything you can change anything you can highlight the document as if you are working in microsoft word you have access to the to the font style you can change the, the font style to any font or of your choice you can come to fonts and you can be able to see different kind of font styles that you can work with if you have a specific style you have it you you can change it to be header subheading you can change the styling to head, heading uh, subheading or main body as you so wish but what you have selected in this case is a main body so that's why and you can have the option to once you select that particular document you can have the option to play around with the sizing you can increase the size or decrease the size so more or less like you're working in your word document file and you can deal with the coloration as well can change the text to any color of your choice you can bold you can italize you can underline you can even strike through if you're interested you can change the alignment you can align center left and even right or um, justification okay you can justify accordingly if you are interested so the alignment can go in any form and you can bullet the points in cases if you have some listed items you can make them in bullet font points or they are about and then you can increase or decrease the indenting as you so wish it's up to you and you can play around with the spacing either the horizontal or the vertical spacing you can play around with it very easily so these are very simple key features that you can use to edit your document as if you are on microsoft word now you have this plus sign option whenever you are on word document it's the uh, magic right you can use it i have made a complete video on how to use magic right in canva you can use it to design your uh, headings subheadings the main body you can add tables you can have checklists and bulleted points like we have explained you can add charts bar charts and uh, line charts and embedded codes you can even bring in emojis as you saw which you can see a list of them and once you select any it's going to be added to your document just like so so it's very easy to kind of navigate and work with your document uh, as it is like this so you can do the editing and everything you can add all sort of things from here you can even add elements you can come over here check out some elements and you can drag and drop and make your word document look very very nice and professional you can add elements and on your own you can upload any kind of document from uh, images to videos and you can easily drag and drop your media directly in the document and once you're done you can have access to also other features like cropping features like flipping effect you can flip horizontal flip right and left and you can have the option to go adjust images these are filters and you can go to adjustment and you can adjust images directly the properties like the brightness and the contrast 
the uh, saturation and the tint effect you can play around with all these uh, features on your own so this is uh, how to edit a document a word document in uh, microsoft in in canva so the next one is we can try to import our microsoft powerpoint and see how we can edit it and even uh, deliver presentations with it within canva platform so you can go back to your document let's say i have these powerpoints like this one that i'm interested in bringing in so i can just select drag it and drop it anywhere within the home page of canva so it is now bringing it and it's now uploading into my canva platform so you can just wait for it once it's finished we can start the editing and even go ahead and add some animations to it and see how we can deliver presentations within the canva platform using different different uh, kind of formats all right so right now it has finished the upload we can just uh, look at take a look at it with the thumbnail and as you hover over it you'll be able to see the different slides that we have we have up to 24 slides so you can just click and it's going to open for you directly now these are the slides that i've just produced from my powerpoint i've just imported all right so you can see you can navigate from one slide to another from one slide to another very easily you can see you can move from one slide to another on your own and you can go ahead and edit the slides accordingly like if you don't want this image you can right click on it and you can delete it okay you can select and delete and you can come over to this place and search for any media of your choice you can come to elements and you can just come or go ahead and search for children in beach for example this is just an example and we can just see these are photos you can see all if you like you can decide to see all and you can just drag and drop and drop any of them these are children on the beach just like the way we have searched and you can see you can just drag and drop it you can enhance everything anything you can put in edit the photo if you are interested like you've explained these are the different features the effects that you can add to your photos from effects to um you can adjust different features like the temperature and the tint effect you can also play around with it you can uh, go ahead and extend and edit anything that you like and you can crop the image as well one by one you can make it one by one or you can make it 16 by 9 or however you want it i prefer it to be at the original stage without the uh, any of the editing so you can select the image and do so much so much you can edit the photo you can flip if you would like to flip horizontal or flip vertic vertical you can do all that from here as well so it's very nice and you can add animations how do you want it to come in as an element you want it to pop in like this as you hover over you'll be able to see different kind of uh, effect that it's going to have and then you have the position you can change the position accordingly if you have it in layered form you can make it to come above or go below a particular layer from this uh, selection and you have the popping feature we've just talked about the editing the animation feature okay so next we have to talk about the opacity or transparency you can increase or decrease the transparency i usually like and prefer to leave it at 100 which is my choice and you can transfer the slide something like format painter tool in microsoft word or in powerpoint you can select this particular effect the effect you've added on this image and transfer it to another image maybe in another slide or the above and you can lock your changes directly from here now one beautiful thing about powerpoint in canva is that you can present even within the platform all you need is just to come to the top right over here click on present and you have the options to present directly you can present with full screen or presenter view presenter view enables you of course to have your presenter notes that you can always refer to which the audience might not be able to see or those notes that you are referring to so that's what you well that's what, what what we call presenter view you have the presentation slide and then you have a note dedicated specifically for the presenter which you can always make refer you can always refer to to connect with your presentation and then you have present and record you have the option to present and record the screen and even yourself if you're interested in and you can go with autoplay if it is what you want so in my own case i would like to go on uh, present full screen so i'll just go ahead and say present and you can see we are now beginning to see the presentation so this is it this is the next slide this is the next slide now we are in the presentation mode and you can see uh, it is now moving perfectly so this is how perfect how an interesting uh, canva can go it can help you to uh, make exceptional presentations and you can edit and add different kind of animations you can play around with the different things that you have here you can change coloration you can animate you can play around with the positions and all that you can add transitions as well in between slides 
yeah this is transitions and you can extend the duration of seconds as you transit from one slide to another so it's very easy and interesting to enjoy to, to try and see and you can add notes or comments in cases if you want to connect or you can leave in a comment with your co-worker that you're working together with so he can easily uh, know what and what kind of edits you want him to make in a particular slide or within a particular document so the last one on the list is the uh, spreadsheet microsoft excel so assuming i want to add in a spreadsheet so let's go back to the same file um, i have two spreadsheets here one is a bit complicated and, and the, the other one is quite simple so let's start with the complicated one all you need is just to drag and drop it again in the main home tab so i've dragged and dropped so let's see how it's going to look and what kind of edits you can make within the canva platform so right now it has finished the importing so let's just click to open uh, this is a spreadsheet so confirm you can see that it is uh, from the spreadsheet you can see it is very 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 nice it's very nicely arranged you can see the way it imported everything is fantastically uh, just like the way we have it in the main one i will show you how we how we have it but then you can zoom in to see the spreadsheet feature you can see when you zoom in you can edit the cells you can click and edit anything for example here you can make it 500 or 490 okay so you can edit the content of the cells directly um, very easily okay so it's up to you to just uh, make edits if you're interested and you can see it's very possible to edit the the content all right so this is uh, based on the fact that i zoomed it okay it has given us very simple and nice um, spreadsheet that you can work with let me show you the sample of what we are talking about how it was in the main one okay so this is it in the main microsoft uh, excel you can see it very nicely you can see everything clearly and you can see it has picked everything the formatting even here uh, the coloration everything has been picked you can see uh, everything is brought in here just like the way we have it so you can just go ahead and see and explore it to see what and what you can use this for so but i think it is doing a good work you can add anything you can bring in different kind of elements and add it and add them to your uh, presentation or to your spreadsheet you can just paste in any elements of your choice and you can resize it to make your presentation look beautiful and you can do with so many things maybe add some few things and then see how you can export you can do a lot with the uh, text as well you can go ahead and extend and maybe play around with the text features and animate them or add in some effects positions or play around with some of the text editing features you can make it small letters capital letters what they are about you can just play around with these features but it's perfectly done so let's try the last one which is importing the, the simpler one so you can come back to the same the same document this is a simpler one i can just drag and drop it and you can see it's just importing it for me perfectly and very fast and you can see it has just imported everything for me you can see everything the cells are well arranged the data is well arranged also and it's exactly as it is in the excel sheet it has brought in and you can go ahead and edit accordingly and edit your values it has made it in spreadsheet formats and you can add any detail of your choice you can edit you can add text you can add elements and so on so i think as soon as you finish editing any of them and if you want to export it's the same exporting process for the powerpoint you can still come over here and click on export and go to download now you can specify what kind of formats usually the standard is pdf you can go to pptx if you want but uh, yeah the preferred one is the pptx you can just import export it as a powerpoint pptx so once you select this it's going to import it still as a pptx document and you can export this one also the same way you can come to download and you can select you can export in, in pdf yeah you can export in pdf or in png you can export all this uh, as you so wish and then lastly you can have the the microsoft word document yeah so you can come over here so say come to download once you've done editing you can specify the size of the page which is a4 the default you have other sizes and you can specify it's it's going to be in pdf you can download in pdf as well if you are interested so ladies and gentlemen this is just a bit about how to uh, upload and edit your document in microsoft word microsoft excel and microsoft powerpoint and have them edited and enhanced within canva platform i hope you enjoyed this video 
thanks for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next one bye